Well, Sam, Manchester United at home on Sunday next up for us. Given the quality of the opposition that we're facing at the weekend, do you expect the players to, to raise their performance levels? I hope so. I think that, uh, I think that uh, they've shown they can. Uh, certainly, um, uh, Man City and Liverpool this season, they've gone to um, a level of um, certainly defending uh, very solidly, very uh, astutely in, in terms of how they've gone about it, particularly at Liverpool when we saw that Liverpool only had two shots on target in the entire, in the entire 90 minutes. But, um, obviously, we didn't have a lot of possession in that game, but uh, ultimately managed it towards the end of the game to uh, to exploit Liverpool's spaces that they were leaving, to to get in a position where because they were uh, because they were at one uh, one nil up only wanted the second goal started to push more men forward and what we did was then pass the ball in the right areas pass the ball correctly put the opposition under more pressure than we had done in the first half in the last 15 or 20 minutes that ultimately resulted in in them cracking a little bit um, they gave away a needless corner and we pulled off a fantastic corner to get the result so you know, you need many things in in a game like this, and and I think that one that performance, that resilient performance, we do know that probably Man United will have more possession than us. So, and then the opposite of that is using possession very cleverly uh, to to attack the opposition when we get the opportunity and not waste it. And uh, when a chance arrives, as as it did at Liverpool, make sure you take it. Um, and I think that. Uh, the other side of that is what we're not in control of. Is hopefully Man United not quite on top form, um, and get a bit of luck at the right time. Uh, and I think that, um, and then when needed, you may need your goalkeeper, as we did at Liverpool uh, in the last few minutes. Brilliant save, and I, and I think that's um, probably the package we need to put together to get a result against Man United. It's an incredible record that they've got on the road. They haven't been beaten since before lockdown. How do you approach a game like that in terms of a, a defensive shape and how do you go about stopping a team that's so high on confidence at the moment? Well, it's been one of our biggest fault elements in, since I've been here, uh, probably before I came, and that, that um, I've been working extremely hard in the, in the fact that we... We have conceded far too many goals and still have continued to concede far too many goals since I walked through the door. That's hugely, hugely affected me. That's hugely disappointing for me um, because that is where uh, every team that's turned their fortunes around, whether it be at the bottom or the top or in the middle, it starts by not conceding sloppy goals. And uh, our sloppy goals have, have uh, continued to haunt us um, uh, in my period, my short period of time here. So, uh, from winning positions at Fulham, letting in a letting in a sloppy goal towards the end, and uh, from winning position at Sheffield United, letting two very avoidable goals in. So that still becomes my biggest and ultimate p problem. Uh, I'm convinced if we get at the other end, um, and, and we provide the right sort of service in the final third. Uh, and I think, I mean, seeing, it, seeing him at Tottenham, we get the right balls in the box, we provide the right crosses, then Mbai can be one who scores us a few more goals, as well as the responsibility of all the other players to try and chip in as well, you know. So while we need to do the defending right, we need to do the in possession the best we possibly can to create a chance to score. Back at the Hawthorns on Sunday, our last game there was the 2-2 draw against Fulham. That result ended a, a run of a few defeats on the bounce at home, Sam. If there is going to be an escape this season, is our home form crucial to that? No, it's how many games we win. The, the, you know, I mean, you know, form is form. We need form wherever it may be. We need good form. We need good consistent performances whether we're at the Hawthorns or whether we're not obviously it's a very strange year and, and I still don't know uh, what the psychologists will make of the fact that Premier League games away have been won more than Premier League games at home so 
looking at our form at home is it's not unusual because it's happened across I think Manchester United went seven, eight games at home before they won one this year in the start of the season. So it doesn't become a particular pro problem in terms of looking at it that way. You know, I, I personally think, um, why should it be like that? Because it should be uh, uh, going out on the pitch and there is no fans there. Um, you, you have to create your own atmosphere, you have to create your own adrenaline uh, and you have to focus more than you would if you had a crowd there because the crowd lifts you because um, the crowd support you. Obviously, if you're not doing well, the crowd disapprove of you, which is it is their prerogative. Uh, but not having the crowd and, and being used to it for so long now, you know, I'm surprised the players, not just our players, are not able to just cope with that and deliver a, a performance on a consistent basis. I understand it being strange when we first started, but now we've, we should have learned to live with it and we should have learned to cope with it and we should have learned to get out there and give better performances, certainly from my point of view to the players here. That's what we, we should have done and that's what we've got to try and achieve. And just finally, Akai's had a, a full week of training. You handed him a debut for 10 minutes or so at Spurs last Sunday. Have you been impressed with what you've seen? Yeah, well, uh, hopefully. I mean, the, the transition for Akai into the Premier League is the biggest ask, as it is, is odds with him by and will still be. Um, I see some encouragement that Mbai can score some goals based on particularly the top, could be like that trick at Tottenham. Uh, and he'd been on just a little bit behind the defender twice, he'd have scored, and obviously a fantastic chance just before half time to put us 1 0 up. Um, uh, but, um, you know, we have to provide the right crosses. Akai is, again, hopefully, will be able to hit the ground running. It, it, you won't see the best of him right from the very, very start, but, but the quicker he can pick up the pace of the Premier League, hopefully the more he can show his abilities.